that's what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust back with episode one of cube two anyways let's get into the game because so much to do and so little time to do so Alright, <clears throat> options. Let's 
actually a general. Uh, we'll leave it default for now, but chances are we'll probably be adjusting them later on. Uh, definitely invert Y. Definitely English. Whoops. Wait, that's... Yeah. As for audio... I can definitely say we'll be adjusting the audio as soon as we get in the game. I can't really adjust it now because I can't really hear much. I mean, yeah, there's like music in the background, but I mean like in terms of audio levels, I need to see how loud it's going to be. Uh, so yeah, we'll get back to that. Anyways, that's for controls. Let's see, we can jump. Clear cubes. That's new. Inventory next. Inventory previous. So we have an inventory this time. Uh, interact and place cube. Okay. Wait, can I alter these? Oh, you can! Okay. Uh... I think I might be good with this for right now, but, you know, might change it later on. Jump assist and color blind mode? Nah. And restore defaults now. Alright, so apply. Applied. Extras. Let's see. Stats. Zip, zip, zippity doo da day. Yep. And credits. Okay. Alright, so, anyways, yeah, we just went through the first game, and the. If you haven't seen that playthrough, go back. <laughs> uh, we, we, we went through Cube, cube 1 already, and without. Well, actually, you know, I should, I, oh, gosh. Okay, from this point onward, spoilers. So if you haven't played, Q, oh, sorry, if you haven't played or, or seen Cube 1 yet, like I said, it's on my channel. Go watch it. It's two episodes. Uh, okay, now time for spoilers. All right, so anyways, at the end of Cube 1, wow, wow, and wow to the ending of Cube 1. Uh, the fact that there was this giant ship heading towards Earth, giant well it, it they said cube is actually in the form uh shape of a rectangle if i remember correctly so <laughs> yeah but still it was cool it was um, it was just it was just a mind-blowing scene absolutely wow because how large that ship was okay well anyways as for the ending though there was a few things that were not wrapped that yeah were not wrapped up number one there was a character named jonathan burns if i'm remembering that correctly and I wanted to believe that he was part of the ship the the alien spacecraft but maybe he was maybe he wasn't I don't know because the president as he was talking said that oh hey we'll try to find you blah 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 and yeah anyways as for our character now of course we were led to believe that our character made it back to earth and everything was all fine there but the ship itself was just drifting in space next to the moon it wasn't completely destroyed so now let's bring it up to the present here uh did anybody else notice the interesting image <laughs> as we booted up into the game here with it showing now apparently a new character we have a we're playing as a girl now uh well unless that's not the main character of the game but okay uh, i mean i mean which is is just fine with the character change here but i just I kind of thought we were sticking with the same character, uh, but hey, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. However, what's not fine is, didn't the white thing in the background look like a giant ship? Like, basically the thing that we, we, we kind of stopped in the first game? Yeah. And then also, as for the whole back and forth, like, not knowing who to believe, whether uh, Jonathan was right about that... You know, the whole ship thing was a lie, or if the, the girl was right, uh, the astronaut, um, yada, yada, yada. Well, anyways, the thing is with me is that I didn't know, even though, I, like I said, I did, as, as we already know as I played through the game, I already did play through Cube 1 once before. And, however, it's been so long that I couldn't remember how it ended. Well, with the picture on this game that it's showing on Earth... And it's showing what looks to be a little bit like a desert 
not uh, kind of. I just uh, hang on. Let me bring that image up. In the background, it looks like it's like a jungle going into a desert, and then we have like the giant. Well, it looks to be like a ship in the background. I'm assuming that's the ship that we thought we stopped in the first game. But anyways, with this scene, that the character looks like she's coming out, or maybe maybe coming out of the ground or something like that. That is what was actually starting to confuse me. Like, wait, was Jonathan right? Were we really underground? But yet he he obviously wasn't since he said we were going to get incinerated and we didn't, <laughs> and we were really in space and all that stuff. But but anyways, it's just before the ending. Though this is one of the things I I saw when I was you know getting the two games ready here, and it's just that that kind of made me like, wait, who's right? Who's wrong? Who's right? Who's wrong? You know. So please wait. Please wait. Why? Did this save? Yeah, it saved. Okay. Well, anyways, now let's finally see what ha what has happened since the first game, and see if what happened to the the ship, and see what the hay is going on. Mayday. This is Commander Emma Sutcliffe of the Vitruvius mission. I am stranded in an unknown location following mission success. Are there any survivors out there? Hello? This is Dr. Amelia Cross. I, I'm, I'm picking up your signal. I repeat, I am reading you clearly. Please, I, I don't know what's happened, but I need help. Try and remain calm. Your systems are slightly damaged. I can't identify what your rank was either. Looks like you're suffering from cryogenic-induced amnesia. What? W what are you talking about? You must have been part of Vitruvius, tasked with destroying the cube. Damn. The escape pods must have brought us both back to the origin planet. That life suit you're wearing, you can manipulate the cubic structures with it. We used the same design to destroy an extraterrestrial object that was on a collision course with Earth. You may not remember, but if you listen to me and do as I say, we may actually make it back home. Do you understand me? I... I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Just...
tell me what I need to do. Okay. I've detected a human distress beacon coming from the peak of the structure you're in. Your signal is weak because of this blasted sandstorm. I can't lock onto you. That beacon is above the storm. If you can just make it there, you should be clear. If you rendezvous with any other survivors, I should be able to use my teleporter to extract us all and get home. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. Wow. First, okay, well, actually, first I need to alter the audio here. Wait, why is it? How is it going from a hundred then ninety then seventy nine? It's like skipping an additional uh, point. Huh? That's weird. Yeah, those two definitely need ri raised because, good gosh. Okay, I think the sensitivity might be okay now, but I might have to do further tweaks later on. Same thing with the audio. I need to hear them again. But anyways, whoa! I mean, let's just back up for a second here. So, our new character is Amelia Cross, right? That's what she said. Um, and they're saying she was part of the team that took out the first... Uh, uh, spaceship, which was the 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 ship in the f first game, but okay. So I don't remember the girl's name on the the um, the shuttle, the no space station, space station that was helping us. Is this her or is this someone else? Uh, I'm thinking this is someone else, but. What in the world's going on? And then also, we're on the origin planet of these aliens. So, we're not even on Earth. Whoa. Anyways, as for this game, though, uh, woe to the graphics, because there is a, there's a, uh, uh, there's definitely a, uh, boost with the, uh, the lighting and, and such. And then also, hey, we have other co other other uh, colors and stuff, rather than just the uh, <laughs> the white testing rooms, of the first game. Hmm. Oh, and one other thing, did anybody else notice how the cube loading screen at the top left corner uh, when it pops up doesn't it look like the old uh, GameCube symbol. Especially whenever it's it's doing this little uh, loading thing where the thing's like circling around. It just I, I don't know why I just get like GameCube from from it. You know, it actually feels like I'm playing a whole different game right now. And... I think that's a good thing.
Use the gloves you are wearing to change the structure around you. You should have access to the launch pad function, code colored blue. Try placing one on any white cubes that have a frame using your left glove, then stand on it. Okay. Just looking around, making sure there's nothing to uh, collect. You should place a blue cube using the left glove onto one of those white panels with the frames on. Once placed, stand on it. It will launch you upwards. Oh, good. It's just like the jump pads in um, first game. Jesus. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. You better get used to it. It may just save your life in here. Listen, I'm losing signal because of the storm. Keep climbing upwards. Contact me if you find anything strange. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? God, what have I got myself into? That's funny. The first game, it was the, the girl circling around uh, the pl planet. Well, actually, no. Wait, wait was she... I still don't know whether the, the girl from the first game was circling around the moon or if she was circling around the earth. I can't remember. Uh, but it was funny that that was the way to keep cutting her off. And this game, it's a storm. <laughs> what? What the? Oh, look at that. Huh. Okay, it's just activate this time around. It's not um, different levels like the first game. Okay, so this is what happens if you just hold the button. Yeah, that'll work. Now, one thing I really... Emma, oh. I've... I found something. Oh, still no signal. One thing I really do like with this game is whenever you hit a uh, bounce pad, jump pad, it automatically puts your camera where you're going. I really like that. Oh yeah, that's smart. And how would she know to stick her hand in the thing? I mean, to me, doesn't that look like fire coming out of there? Why would you do such a thing? 
I will never ever understand that in both. I should place a red cube and then interact with it. Both uh, movies, television, games, whatever. Uh, it just when a character does something like that, where there's no uh, prior knowledge, as to, it's just yeah, it's just. Uh, Okay, this is going to get a little difficult trying to memorize the uh, controls here. Chapter 2 already? Wow. The ropes. Okay, easy puzzles so far, but again, we're only at the beginning of the game. Oops. Oh. I thought that was going to be a higher jump. Making progress, I think. Good. Listen, I wanted to ask, what do you remember before waking up? I don't. Not really. I think I was heading towards a job, a dig site in Scotland. I was in a helicopter with my team. And you don't remember what happened? No, I don't. Are you interrogating me, Emma? Because it sure as hell feels like it. Damn it, this stupid thing. I best continue. Hmm. What? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh.
Also, let's do that. Chapter 3, House of Leaves. I wonder how many chapters there is. Oh, another type. Interesting. It's like the structure itself can duplicate and grow. Oh. That was cool. See, the thing that doesn't make any sense is why is everything set up like tests and puzzles? Both on the ship and on the planet. That's something I would love to have explained. And, not only that, but I also love to have explained what do the aliens look like? <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Very interesting. Watch this. Oh, it didn't work. It was worth a shot. I mean, it was good timing, but it just bounced straight up. I was expecting it to uh, bounce here and then go straight up on that thing. We do need that. Ha! Well, oops.
I don't get it. I can't move the block at all. Once it's on the bounce, it it doesn't move. Oh, I see where we're at. Oops. Kind of overthinking that a little bit. Well, there's outside. Emma, can you read me? I'm reading you. Are you all right? I've come across an exterior space. The storm has cleared up, and well, there's life here. There's water and plants. That's unexpected this doesn't look accidental either the structure of the space the organization of it it looks purposeful it reminds me of my husband <laughs> in what way oh he um he works with plants you should move on millie before another storm comes agreed speak soon <laughs> Well, the planet has its own sun. Okay, we're already above the surface. So it looks like we're going up higher in this tower or whatever it is. Oh, maybe that white tower we saw in the picture is where we're at right now? Chapter 4. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a new power. Detach function. Code covered green enabled. Recommended action. Place green cube on white panel. Incredible. Hmm? 
Oops. definitely a twist in this game being able to uh, control the uh, the colors and stuff which actually that was a power given to the guy at the end of the first game well he couldn't directly like create like like this he had to pull from a, a source and then move it but still but yet hmm well Oh, I know what to do here. I just need to reset this. Or just do that. I'm nearly at the top. Not quite. These structures, all paths should lead to a central core. If you get there, we can figure out the best way to get you to the peak. How do you know all of this? We trained for a long time, Millie. So what do you think these structures are? Well, we know they have internal machinations and seem to perform tasks with no need for external input. A cybernetic system of sorts, reacting and adapting. The gloves were built to change that, or at least divert its functions temporarily. But what's their purpose? All I know is that we have to stop that vessel from colliding with Earth. The structure you're in? God knows what they're used for. Anyway, let's focus on finding that beacon as soon as possible. Yeah, something's wrong. How does she know all this stuff? Elite Cube. Hmm. Oh, 
that's not going to go in front. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, I get it. That's the whole point of deleting the cube. Okay, however, now I am semi-stuck? Oh, wait a minute. We're good. That looks like a person. Wait, so these aliens have like a human like structure to them. Except for the fact that. If this is supposed to be a representation, they got cubes of their own coming out of them. Please take me. Take me. My heart beats. But I want it to beat for you. I want to become, become one. She said we would become one. Don't leave me on my own. Not without her. Emma. What? What is it? I. I think it's human, or... or was. Now I don't know what it is. A statue. And it was saying something. No, not saying. A radio transmission of sorts. I don't know, this is messed up. Millie, or whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible. Okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just keep going, okay? I just realized that was another thing that was never answered in the first game. Which was about the girl astronaut saying how she heard her own voice telling her what, you know, what was said. And <sighs> yeah, that was never answered either. So... I wonder if there's any connection to that part with this right here, how we were hearing those multiple voices. Uh-oh. Well, time to go down. Um, okay, how did we survive that fall? Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. I mean, I know that this is one of those 
landing pads we've been landing on. But how the hey did she just survive that fall? for this Emma the language is like nothing I've ever seen there are some things I can make out in illustration like it seems to be a physical transportation machine an elevator or monorail that ascends it's hard to understand it's connected to the three doorways by these large cables I wonder if it's something that can be powered taking us towards the beacon <laughs> I have no idea, but whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on, and it's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be careful, Millie. Chapter 5 Emma, can you read me? I can. The signal's a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door and see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. Alright, so I'm assuming this was the open door? Yes. Wow. It looks like these cables lead through to more rooms. I'm gonna follow them, see if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. Something we could try to see out the windows. <gasps> you know, I thought we were supposed to put something on there, but I guess the character worked just fine.
Whoops. Thankfully, everything's been straightforward so far, but... I bet you any money it's gonna soon change. Like now. Okay, so they're just buttons. They're not pressure plates. Oh, wait, I take the back. They are pressure plates. Before. I wonder what it does. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. What is she referring to exactly? Because uh, so far we've been dealing with tons of technology that we've never seen before, but yet now we finally see a fan and she's like, I've never seen this technology before. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I'm. Yeah, leave of faith here. I'm going to assume that. It's going to propel us over there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... For how far you jump into it will be how far you can go out. Literally like a actual... Um, maybe like a trampoline, if you will. Yeah, the fans are the only thing that's in here. She literally said, never seen this technology before. But yet she's okay with all the other technology. Something is seriously wrong here.
Oh, crap. That's a big door. Yeah, I really need to get the uh, that off there for right now. Basically, I wanted to come up here for a moment because I need to see. Oh wait, did I even try stepping on this? It's a timer, isn't it? Yeah, it's a timer. Whoops. Basically, as I was trying to say, I went up there to see if there was some way I could put a cube on this, but no, we need the cube there for that part. back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. Maybe you're onto something here, Millie. Report on any changes. <laughs> All right, so we finished that one. How about we do this one next?
Aw. Nope, that's not happening. Oops. Oh, I I get it. Yeah. I was on the right track at first. I just need to get rid of that block in a second. Now, I need that block here. Oops. We're through and going up. Well, that was a quick, uh, very quick room. Well, that's a weird one. Okay. Oh, create a staircase. Oh. Oh no, I didn't set that up. Uh Thankfully we had the staircase.
I think we have just one more door to go. That one. Oops. What is the... No. no. No, I don't think we have to worry about this button just yet. I take that back. Okay. I screwed up. I was wondering what happened to the... Mm -hmm. I can't I can't believe I just did that. Okay, now we can go up. Wait, what? Okay, so that explains that. Um, whoops. All right, and then that should be that, and then we're gonna be green for go. Just get ready, cause this is gonna uh, be on a timer. And go. Okay, easy peasy. I thought they were closer together, but I guess not. seems to be fully powered and is sending something back to that machine. I'm going to check it out. Well, 
wonder what we're doing. Because where is the idea coming from that makes them think it's okay to be turning on the reactor, turning on this entire machine, this entire system? It's like, wait a minute, aren't you helping the aliens? What if this is a giant uh, Death Star? <laughs> And we're powering it up. I'm confused. Emma, from what I can tell, this machine is powered by a third, and another door connected to it has opened. How fascinating. Okay, Millie, I trust your judgment. Let's see if it actually works as you think when all thirds are powered. I'm on it. Okay, so anyways, back to what I was saying, though. I mean, now, right now, of course, we're doing it to try to activate this this elevator, which just seems a little ridiculous. Going through all the stuff we're going through just to activate an elevator. Something's fishy about that. Alright, so we got one cylinder down, two to go, maybe? Or is it just one to go and then it'll power that? Well, either way, we gotta go through that doorway now. So, off to work we go. It's fine, this game has loading screens all over the place, whereas the first game I think we encountered only like what one loading screen but it wasn't even a loading screen itself as we were going through the game all of a sudden like just stopped and then oh hold on chapter six anyways as I was saying uh, it it was like over halfway in the game and, or no somewhere half. I don't remember where exactly Another reactor let's get this thing powered and uh, the game just like went black screen as it was loading and then it just kind of re reset the area. It was really, really weird. But anyways, back to this game though. It's just... What, what I was trying to get at with all these power in the machines. It's like these giant reactors. All for one little elevator? <laughs> Is anybody else seeing a big problem here? Yeah. Okay, looks like we have one door again, so it looks like uh, we got to repeat this whole process all over again. But of course, with different puzzles. Because what alien race wouldn't be complete without having their own set of puzzles to operate their giant reactors to operate one tiny little elevator? <laughs> I can't wait to find out what the, uh, the, the the plot twist here is gonna be. Wonder what these are used for. Whoa! Oh, that's cute and clever. Interesting, it's like a catapult. A rough version of it.
Can we get any cubes in here or not? Yes, we can. Alright, now the question is, which one do I want first? That one. things are running through my mind. I mean, you were sent to destroy that extraterrestrial object, right? I was, as were many. So, how did we develop this manipulation technology? We tracked the vessel for years since it entered the solar system, intercepting signals from it, decoding them. We learned about its structure, but not its host. And you use this data to what? Develop this technology I'm wearing? It was going to kill everyone on Earth, Millie. It was an invasion. Sorry. I just... I just need to orient myself. That's all. You've got to admit, this situation is somewhat out of the ordinary. I know. This journey, it's not what I expected either, Millie. Thank you for finally explaining one of the burning questions I've had since the first game is how did they get a hold of this technology? Oh, finally. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was so annoying just all this time never having that answer until now, finally. Alright. Oh, I see what needs to be done. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm going to do that two times. Yeah. So that there. That. That. Got it. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, no, I didn't time that right. Biscuits. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not supposed to do it that way. Maybe I'm supposed to do it the long way. Uh, wait a minute. Is 
See, I was trying to go from there to there to there, but it wasn't exactly working, so I guess I need to do it the long way. What the? That was a first. Oh, that's cute. To infinity and beyond. Propel yourself over a hundred feet off the ground. Nice. These things are really neat. It's another statue. No, I don't think it's humane to knock her away. She needs medical attention. And she needs to, to be looked after. You don't know what you're dealing with, James. So just do me a favor and drop the management bullshit. What? All right, so the first one was a guy. This time it's a girl. Hmm, that's odd. If I'm remembering correctly, the guy looked like he was struggling more than the girl. I think, didn't he have it on his shoulder? And he had, like, his head down a little bit, and he's like carrying it on his back so to speak whereas the girl she's lifting it right over her head hmm wonder if that's supposed to actually mean anything with this alien species or if it's just simply designed by design choice which that's totally fine I'm just wondering since right now we're trying to piece together the story and yeah even the smallest little detail it's like what oh good it's the thingy okay let's power these other rooms Okay, so they're all the same. Whoops. Oh, I did that on the wrong one.
Wait a minute, which one am I supposed to do this? Okay, first off, of course that doesn't matter. Now, either I can bring out a red, then pull back and let it fall, then a jump and then bounce that way, or green, drop, wait, no. Yeah, green, drop, it will start bouncing, flip this thing, you know, turn this thing, then make that the blue, once the, the the thing is there and then doing right there uh I would like to try both methods but uh, we can only do one so let's try this one since it sounds a little easier I think yeah yeah Definitely. Uh, did I forget to push a button? What was the whole point of all the different buttons? Oh, that's not a button, that's a... never mind. Oh, so I accidentally opened that earlier. Oh, <laughs> that was totally on accident. That was whenever we dropped the green cube over there when I had to reset the thing. Oh my gosh. That's silly that I actually got it by accident. Cause yeah, it was just totally confusing me. Like, wait, why is this open? What what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> I thought I had on that one. Wait, what am I missing? I thought this was the right... Obviously uh, it's not the right solution. Oh, hold on. It's from me. Oh, I still need the green block. Uh, 
unless... Nope, we need the green block. Oh, dumb, 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 dumb. Oops. Okay, I made some serious fails in that room. Hopefully, I won't be making any other fails. Oops. We need to get the green cube up there. go. I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I forgot to switch that around first. Basically, we need the block to go in here to then go into there. But I now need to go back in there. Let's push that. And do that. Take this on back. And then put the block right there. Oh, wait a minute. I... I did something wrong. Okay, I made a seriously massive screw up because I'm down here. I should be up there. Great, now I gotta do that again. Oops.
Wait, how am I screwing this up so bad? What what am I what am I missing here? Oh, I think I need to jump first. That's what it is. That's where I was screwing up. structure is some form of machine. I don't know. The object that was going to collide with Earth. We thought it was a vessel, but after being on it, it was totally empty. Like it was a self-sufficient machine. I guess we'll find out soon enough when the last third is powered. I hope this works. Me too, Minnie. <laughs> okay, totally Death Star. <laughs> But seriously though, I already said it. I said with all of us I mean with with us powering up all these these reactors, come on, it's not for a stinking elevator. <laughs> there is more to it. But yeah, I'm not doing as much talking in this playthrough only cuz of uh, just trying to really really focus and concentrate here so we can get through this. Because otherwise, if I was doing lot, uh, my normal talking, then we'd probably still be a good chunk uh, earlier in the game. You know, I mean, a good ways back. We wouldn't be making such great progress. Only one more reactor to power. All right, now where's this final reactor? I mean, there, but where's the... Wait, isn't this where we already came from? Oh! Oh, no, we came from up there, that's right. That's where I got turned around. Chapter 7 The last one What? What'd she say? <gasps> oh, we're back to magnets. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect that. All 
Oh. Elevator up. How did I do that one again? Going down. No. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't realize. Oh, you dingbat. I didn't actually realize this was a thing. Till now. Because, I mean, I knew we could project, uh, throw them, but for some odd reason in my head, I just wasn't picking up on the fact I could keep it in that that way. I thought it was just a one-time one, one -time thing, but then I should have known whenever we saw the cube bouncing up and down earlier. Uh, where am I sending this? Oh, I need to be on that. Crap. I was hoping I would have dropped.
Or maybe not. Uh, what am I missing? Okay, I'm stumped only because of the fact I know I'm missing something here. No. Oh! Because I'm doing it in the wrong order. That's what the problem is. It just dawned on me. That was it. That was it. This is why I have to sometimes just stand in the spot and stare at the puzzle. And it's like, oh, that's how. Whoa. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. Oh, there we go. Got it. The downside is, I don't know how to get through that door. Ow. Wait, what moved? Oh. Wait a minute. There's a doorway down there. Uh, how do I move this?
I did it again. There, finally. There. Okay, now we can get in there. You said that someone else destroyed the object. Who were they? Some other scientist or military personnel that we sent. Why did they send individuals? Why not teams? To increase our chances. Each would jump to different parts of the vessel, transported. What? Like, teleported? Yes. Some people lost their memory in tests. Others went mad. A portion were fine, of course. It was difficult to predict. Is that what happened to me? I mean, how long have I been out for? I don't know how long we've both been asleep, Millie. And yes, it's possible. Hopefully your memories will come back. Wait, so there was more than just one? guy on the original ship? Oh, maybe that's the... That would explain Jonathan Byrne's story. However, they said Jonathan Burns that he was way before that point. I don't remember the story on that, but there's something about the fact that his shuttle was lost. I don't know, but whether Jonathan Burns is part of the group of people that were teleported, uh, it still states that there was more than just the original guy. Which I can't even think of his name. screwed up. I need a different angle. I'm having trouble figuring this one out. I need to be up there. I can't see the entire picture here. So I can't figure out the order of everything we need to do.
Oh, uh, maybe we're supposed to ride that up there. Crap. Got it. Yeah, see? He's got on his back. Looks like he's having more trouble, but then again, he has a bigger cube. Something is really wrong. She's alive. And reacting. But I just can't get her to let go of it. Keep an eye on her. And I'll call the extraction team. See if they can come a month early. What? Okay, this better get explained by the end of this game, I'm telling you right now. I'm not waiting to a cube three to figure this one out. Alright, we still have a lot to go before we can, uh... What the? Has there always been four squares on that? That's weird. Anyways, as I was trying to say, uh, we have a lot to go... Before getting that elevator done. I was gonna... I wanted to get the elevator done in this episode, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, seeing that we're already over time. So, <laughs> yeah, I have to wait till next episode. Anyways, this is going to be it for episode one of Cube 2. We'll, of course, be back next time with episode two, uh, where we will, of course, get that elevator working, see the top of this tower, whatever it is, and maybe, hopefully, get outside? Maybe? I don't know. Also, I need to find... I'll have to look up after after I'm done here and see how many chapters there are to this game. Uh, well, actually, here, you know what, we could maybe look right now. Uh, wait, no. 
<laughs> There's nothing that says... Yeah, I just... You know what? I, I think I'm still probably in the early game. There's probably like 500 chapters. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, anyways, whatever I find out with the chapters, I'll, of course, I'll state right at the beginning of the next episode. And, uh, yeah. But like I said, I, I think that we're not even nowhere near close to halfway done yet. At least, at least based on those trophies, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, either way, we'll just have, of course, have to just wait and see. But I do hope and pray we get answers and uh, questions answered in this game please i don't want to have to wait years for a third one if we're ever going to have a third one i mean it's already been years since we've uh, gotten the second one here and I, I i haven't heard anything about a third game but then again i haven't really looked in that so uh yeah which actually i should look at that well maybe i shouldn't spoilers eh, i don't know but uh <laughs> yeah but anyways, again, it's going to be it for this episode. So until next time, keep on gaming. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out. Haven't seen you in season. But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down But I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting down Got me.